Hi, this is Sid here and I'm a rustic mystic and today I've come back with a JFT and a September 25th and today's thought was the fourth step fearing our feelings. Now, uh, when we actually look at the fourth step, we uh, come across that it gets us to think about our shortcomings, our character defects completely in front of us. I mean, it, it is completely painfully in front of us. Makes us feel, it lets us see those character defects in front of us, which in any case, I would feel that even a person who is not an addict would not like to see his character defects. Because showing a character defect meaning that there is some problem with you. Let's see what they write over there. They are saying that we may fear the that being in touch with our feelings will trigger an overwhelming chain of re pain and panic, chain reaction of pain and panic. Definitely, I mean, I don't want to feel the way that I was feeling when I was an addict. Each day when I got up, I did not want to think about what happened in the past. Yesterday night, what happened, how many drinks I drank, who did I misbehave with, did I do this, did I do that, I don't want to know that. Now those things are not only because of my uh, addiction, it was also because of my character defects. Because a rough person, drinking or addiction or uh, maybe brown sugar or cocaine or whatever you have will actually accentuate what you have within you rather than creating a separate character for you. Let's see what that says. A common complaint about the fourth step is that it makes us painfully conscious of our defects of character. See, it's making you painfully conscious. It pinches you and makes you see your character defects. We may be tempted to falter in a program of recovery. Through surrender and acceptance, we can find the resource we need to keep working the steps. Becomes really difficult when you try to work the steps and you are not able to do that. It becomes really tough. So, the very first thing that we do, the first step says, surrender and focus. Don't try to, you know, think that I can make the program run. Run with the program and use the instructions in the 12 steps. Follow it and you'll be okay. Let's see what they say again. It's not the awareness of the defect of uh, character that causes us the most agony, it's the defects themselves. Obviously, I mean, the defect themselves would cause more problem rather than knowing because at the back of your mind, you already know that you have that defect of character. It's not news for you. But when you have to face it, because that is the actual reason why you've been doing addiction, because you do not want to face that character defect. If you can face the character defect, you would never have been an addict. Okay? Refusing to acknowledge the source of anguish doesn't make it go away. Denial protects the brain and makes it stronger. Denial is like a cancer. If you protect it, don't look at it too many times. What will happen is that it will accentuate the pain. It will make you feel more angry and painful. And the 12 steps help us with the misery caused by our defects, by dealing directly with the defects. Look at it in the eye. Look at it in the eye and make it surrender in front of you. The defects that you have, the character defects that you have. After all, what is it that you have to be shy about now? Once you've been in a NA, once you've done a few um, sharings, once you've spoken to others, there's nothing more to be shy about. What you need to do right now is look at those character defects right in the eye and make them look down, win over them. And if we hurt from the pain of our defects, we can remind ourselves that of the nightmare of addiction, a nightmare from which we are awakened. Definitely, I mean the nightmare that we have already undergone the addictions that we've already undergone, now we are out of it. We are at a position that we can now set the terms for our recovery. We can recall the hope for release the second step gave us. Remember the second step? If you don't give a comment down, 
subscribe to this channel because my next video is going to be about the 12 steps and the last line a high power cares for us by giving us the help we need to work the rest of the 12 steps we don't have to fear our feelings just for today we need to just continue for today just cross the stream for today and the 12 steps will happen just for today i don't i won't be afraid of my feelings with the help of my higher power i'll continue in my recovery i will continue in my recovery please subscribe to my channel as i am recovering i will make you recover you have to subscribe to my channel and listen to these thoughts on a daily basis like these thoughts on a daily basis look into my eyes and tell me look into my eyes and tell me that you want to recover and you will recover that's the promise of rustic mystic thank you so much please subscribe and like love you bye